Hi folks. So today you're going to work on uh, practicing how to roll coils. And to do that, you're going to take a little bit of your clay, just about the oh, size of a lemon or so. You could go a little bit bigger. I wouldn't go much smaller. And then squeeze that clay out. So you're making kind of a rope. And actually that probably was more than I needed just to practice. I'm gonna tear that in half. And notice I'm rolling on one on the, one of the pieces of vinyl. And I don't want a bunch of crunchy stuff on there. I know I've got some, um, a little bit of haze from previous things, but it's not really crunchy. If it's really crunchy or really dusty, you might want to clean that off some. As you're rolling a coil, you're gonna start with your fingertips and move to the back of your hand. But instead of rolling so that your hand is staying parallel with the table, you actually are gonna treat that um, that coil as though you are pushing it ahead of your hand. So your hand will actually kind of rock and start to make that foil come out and round. And notice as I was rounding it, I thought maybe it'd be better that way, but I was wrong. Um, I don't want to just go back and forth a little bit. because if I do that and I keep going, it's going to start to flatten my coil and it can start to make a have a hollow center. So instead, I want to go full extension from fingertips to heel of hand so that you get a nice even coil. And notice I move my hands on the coil so it's like, oh, it's a little bit thicker there, so I'm going to roll a little there. It's a little bit thicker there, a little bit thicker there. So really you can start with, I guess, really more like a piece of clay about the size of a golf ball and then practice rolling that coil. If your clay is very dry, it's going, or if it's just very new, it's going to get some cracks in it. For practicing, that's okay, um, unless it's just not rolling. Once you've done it with a little bit of practice and you roll that coil up, run that clay underwater and stick it back in your Ziploc so that you're going to be able to um, re-knead that clay and make it usable again because it's just got to absorb a little bit of water if it is getting a little dry. Again, so I've started off with a piece of clay about the size, your ping pong ball, golf ball, that's more golf ball, and squeeze that piece of clay out so it makes more like a little rope-like piece. Do that before you start to roll. Don't try and start out with a big chunk of clay and try and roll that. And there are a variety of reasons why we might need coils. And our first assignment is going to need one. So that's why I want you to have some practice rolling coils. And I want you to try to roll some thicker, some thinner. Um, try and maybe take one and wet your finger and go along it and kind of flatten it out a little bit. Uh, try and make some different shapes with it. And again, just kind of explore that process and try and get really nice, consistent, even coils.